Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Horde Control series. So this is day 70, uh, episode 10. Uh, this will be the last episode. I'm not going to do any more after this because this is uh, kind of getting tired for me. Um, but it's working really well and I've, I think I've figured out the problem from the last episode. We should be able to deal with Demolishers no problem this time. I'll show you that in a second. The first thing I want to say is for all those people that are building bases like this, I want you to keep something in mind. Um, Having this three wide has worked really, really well. However, the one thing I've noticed, and I don't know whether this is working as intended or not, is that in between the gaps of the plates here, you can actually get to the block behind these. So I don't know if the damage is actually splashing between blocks. I'll show you here, right up here. If we do that, see that's the concrete block behind the plate here, right? It's not the block up here, it's the block between these, like behind this plate. That's the concrete, and there I've just upgraded it to steel. So I've done these ones down here already, but you want to keep that in mind. I don't know, and this is something I, you know, you, you may want to try out, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if the damage splashes between the blocks and hits the one behind, um, or if it's just a function of absorbing, but if you're going to do that, like if you're going to add plates to the outside, you may want to add posts along these here um, as well. Sort of like this block, but the post would be right here. Uh, so if we just do this real quick, let's just uh, get one of these guys. So you would just go ahead and do a post and put the posts in along here. And that would probably pretend, protect the, like prevent the damage from splashing between the two blocks. Most likely it will. Then you upgrade it to steel, right? But then that kind of defeats the purpose of like, because then they'll get stuck on this, right? They'll start hitting this. So I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, I don't know. I, you know, you have to test it out. Um, but yeah, so that, just keep that in mind. Like I've, I've gone kind of around and I've checked. I don't know if I just saw something there, but I've gone around and I've checked in between the blocks to see if I can repair like the blocks in between or the ones below. Some of them I was able to get to, some of them I don't know if I can. So here's the here's the deal and I think, I don't know if this is going to be a problem tonight but we'll find out. So the last episode when the demolisher went off here, right, he damaged the block underneath this one here, right under here, which I was able to repair and it was steel already so it only got took 3,500 damage or something, so I repaired that. But the problem now is I've got a plate here, and I can't see the block underneath this one. So I don't know, because there's plates on both sides, I can't get to it. I don't know if the block underneath this one is damaged or not. I have no idea, no way to tell. So if a demo goes off here, and the damage splashes underneath, it could cause a problem. Uh, but what I did to replace uh, some of the issue here that we had last time, when the demo went off, you blew out two, both of our bars here, is I replaced them with um, two concrete posts, one on each side, and they're in the block, like this block right here, uh, between this, between this uh, plate here and the next level up. So this one is occupying the block above this one. This one here is occupying the block block above this one. So it's right, right above this. So there's two of them there, back to back. So that's like 1,400, or sorry, 14,000 hit points plus the concrete underneath. So if a demo does go off here tonight. The damage can splash through, but I'm not that worried about it. It won't destroy this in one shot, so we've got a better chance of surviving. We've got the, we've also got the uh, reinforced steel door here. It's been upgraded fully, and I made it put another. I put a second one back a little further. I know we had the demo breakthrough kind of at the end of last night, but I put that in there too, just as the last resort, so we don't have to jump down and have them chase us around. So that's the last resort plate. Um, Everything here has been upgraded. I managed to extend this back a little bit with more steel. Uh, extended this out a little bit with more steel. And these took some damage from someone. Um, so I extended this out a little bit. Extended this out a little bit. Made this double wide here. Extended that out back a little bit. Same on this side, just back a little bit. Reinforced the entire upper level, and I'll show you that in a second. I took the bars out that were here. Replaced them with steel plates. Um, and took the bars out that were there, replaced them with steel plates, and put a door on. So now that when when uh, cops and stuff are coming from this direction, they can't see me, so they won't spit at me. Um, I think we were getting some splash spit last night. And the same thing down here, I added plates across the bottom row here, 
so when the cops are down here looking up they can't see me and as you notice there's no uh, switches over here now so if they do spit up at us they can't destroy the switches I'll show you where those are so yeah I added a bunch of plates here to kind of protect from up spit so they won't be able to see me most of the time they can see me from here I left this one in because I want to also be able to see down to see what's going on down here uh, especially in this area to see if they're knocking on walls or whatever but uh, that's the only reason why I left that one in but let's go up here have a quick look. I've got all the stuff on me I need for tonight, so let's get across here. We'll just open these up. I don't think they're going to ever come up that way, but... So I reinforced all of this here, and if you look, if I can get between the two here... Yeah, I can. So you just saw I upgraded the block underneath this one to steel. So you can see between the plates. So that's something that you want to be very, very wary of. Alright, so up here... Actually, I should go back before we do anything else up there. just want to make sure this door is closed and I want to grab my wire tool just in case shiz hits the fan let's grab some more steel out of here let's leave that going alright we're gonna leave this door open because if we need to run and come back here I want to be able to get up fast alright so um, need the wire tool because I want to show you what I've done up here and kind of as a backup I don't know if, it, if we're gonna need it or not was there damage here too there was Jesus I thought I fixed all this Alright, so, um, this has been reloaded. It used 900 rounds last time, which is all the ammo. Which means, uh, I, I don't know if it was shooting at people down here or where it was shooting at people, but we didn't encounter any vultures last night, so I'm hoping that it, that's what it was focusing on. Um, okay, so, power supply stayed in the same area. This switch here is for... Uh, wait. Right. This one is for the re reserve. No, this is the primary. So we turn that on now. So that's for the primary wire. And then the secondary wire is right here. So we'll turn the secondary wire on when we need it. And this is the turret right above us if we need it. And the turret that's here is on all the time. So it's just connected to the battery bank. So let's get this turned on. Didn't bring any fuel because we barely used any last time. But all right, get that turned on. So it's really just uh, the first set of wires and that, that are, uh, sorry, this turret that are on all the time. If we run out of fuel, we run out of fuel, I'm not that worried. I got, I got tons of shit we can do with these guys tonight. So, um, that being said, I kept this here. Uh, I like this vantage point right, from, right here because it's really close to where I am here. I can just kind of pull over and do it. Uh, this again is a better vantage point if they're down here. Um, so, tonight gonna run with a few things I made an M60 level 5 M60 um, and I got a ton of armor piercing ammo that's all we're using tonight is AP ammo and it's got a drum magazine so we got 119 119 uh, rounds in it I put a drum on this one too I don't particularly like the drums because it take a longer time to reload but these are the oh shit I need to kill a, uh, a demolisher I ran out of ammo on my M60 so I switch over to the AK and use that now I got um, 40 extra rounds for the rocket launcher tonight so we should have some good rocket launcher action the grenades are just kind of a backup if we need to just toss grenades down or bounce them off something we can use these but I don't foresee using them that much tonight uh, although we do have them if we need them and of course we got our uh, flaming bat which we're going to use a whole lot tonight hopefully got my skull crushers I got my atom junkies which I'm going to take um, I believe they stack so I'm going to have three of these I'm going to have three of these guys uh, before we start um, and then we we'll, should be good to go with melee and uh, explosions all night uh, eye candy and lucky goggles are for afterwards I brought the fort bites with me for the damage mitigation if we need to jump down and be on foot we've got these I've only got one of them so I only brought one uh, we've got all this stuff for um, repairing any damage we may we may take tonight from the zombies I want to have the wire tool on me because I do have Two, two backup switches so if for whatever reason some shit really really bad shit happens in here I can rehook up some stuff with these switches like either there or whatever um, we can just rehook them up and use them if possible uh, if not I'm not that worried about it we lost our wire I think over halfway through last time so and we managed to survive with no problem the base is reinforced this time so should be no problem I think the last horde was probably pretty bad um, 
I don't know how bad this one's going to be, but we'll see. All right, so I got my forged iron, my steel, and my concrete on me just in case um, I need to repair stuff. My repair tool, first aid kits, first aid bandages, mega crushes if we need to jump down and run around, plus 50% run speed, duration two minutes. We got four of them, so we can last for eight minutes, just like half the night. Got my coffee on me. So we should be good. You know, if shit happens, well, tough shit. There's not much I can do about it. Shit will just happen. Um, but I don't think, I, I really, I seriously don't think, I think with the base, the way it's set up now, I think it's kind of perfect. Um, and if you're wondering why mobs can't squeeze between here, like this is a full well, full block here, right? Why they can't squeeze in here? I put a plate up here. So this actually plate occupies this, this, um, this uh, block space. So for some reason, they can't fit between, you know, here and a plated block above it. So this isn't a full space, full open space. It's a, it's partially blocked, same as this. So I don't foresee spider zombies or anything getting through here. If they if they start getting through here, then we'll figure something out. I don't know. We'll do something. Um, I'm not that worried. You know, we're gonna be hitting them with this all night. So um, if they do show up here, we just step back and blast them. We'll be fine. Uh, like I said, I got a ton of first aid. Armor wise, armor hasn't changed at all on my body. Um, so let's go with the body armor real quick. So it's pretty much the same. I think I found an upgrade military vest or legs or something. One of the two. I can't remember which one it was. Um, but I tried to put uh, as in as many of these could as I could armor plating mod. Uh, so we've got an armor value of soldier resistance 54, 61% armor rating. So it's 61% of the damage mitigated. Um, and if we use the fort bites, it'll be another 30, or sorry, another 15%. Um, explosion resistance 54. So that'll help us against uh, demos and stuff. Crit resistance 25%. So, and then the stamina per second is really low um, for the armor uh, because we spec into light armor. So barely any stamina at all. Mobility is 85%, which is great. Plus 10, plus 10 percent though. It doesn't. I think that just shows you. Is that the armor mobility? Because I don't think that includes the. Um, I don't think that includes the college jacket. Uh, I think you get an extra 10 percent on top of that, so we'll be like na what 93 percent or something mobility when we're running, which is pretty good. So that's that. Now game stage and stuff. Let's have a quick look. So we're level 75. Game stage 172. Uh, 42, 43 kills uh, we should be, that should be pretty easy to remember uh, we've been averaging a little over 500 now zombies per night killed uh, with the rocket launcher in 40 rounds now and this this m60 I'm hoping to jack that up uh, we're gonna start off with melee um, and then depending on how crazy it gets we may just switch to straight up um, straight up weapons oh shoot you know what I did is I left two more I'm gonna go get them right now I left two more AP stacks in the uh, workbench. So I've been cranking out AP ammo. There we go. I'm making more... Uh, ooh, that's really foggy. I'm making more uh, gunpowder as we speak, so... It isn't that bad. I got like 60,000 dukes too, so I'm not worried about like not having the brass to make the ammo. We'll have tons of brass. Um, so that's fine. Um, yeah, you know, we're good to go. So this will be the last episode for this series. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series. I, we started off with relatively okay hordes. I think it was 16 zombies at Warrior difficulty and that was for the first few hordes and then we started cranking it up 24 um, I think it was 24 32 at insane 64 at insane and that's where we're at now that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna keep it I mean I don't foresee me playing this series um, after tonight this will probably be the last episode I may play a little more but I don't know I'm not 100% sure yet um, I like the early game in this I find the late game it, it gets to a point where it becomes very easy um, like not ridiculously easy like I just finished the shotgun messiah building close by us and um, I was up on the roof with just my my nine round shotgun level five shotgun taking on uh, radiated zombies like bikers and cops and things like that 
and uh, didn't really have a problem. So, um, yeah, at, at a later game stage, like if I had gone there in there with this M60, I would have just shredded everything and not had a problem. Uh, granted, I use a lot of ammo, but I got a crap ton of regular rounds that I got to get rid of. I got like over three, like 3,600 rounds or something. So I could just swap it out, you know, and go through buildings with that. That's no problem. So at this late stage of the game, it's really kind of the end. You're, I mean, this, the hordes will probably get crazier and crazier. And if you want to keep playing, you know, feel free to keep playing. But at that point for me, it's just, you know, I don't know. I kind of prefer the uh, early game. Oh, oh, it looks like we should eat this stuff here real fast. So let's go ahead and use these. Back up a little bit. I don't get hit here. Yeah, see that turret must be seeing the zombies running up. Yeah, that, it's got to be. Adam junkies, two, three. Let the early trick or treaters have some fun. Drink one of these guys. Now let's go to work. you get in here? Yeah, he must have squeaked through underneath. Oh, there's a demo. Oh, where'd he go off? I took a lot of damage though. Oh shit. I didn't see that guy. Well, this could go south real fast. Alright. Screw you guys. Ooh, that missed. Alright, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do here. Let's not get phased by it. Let's not get phased by it. I think they're getting up. I don't think they're going through here. I think they're jumping up here. Yep. Jumping up from the back. That's interesting. That was a cop going off. Don't you run away from me. There he goes. I'm interested to see how much damage I've taken here on the base. Because that was two demos, pretty up close and personal. That guy's a that guy's a uh, feral cop. All right, so let's have a look. Um, so a little bit on that one. Oh, yeah, see... Yeah, the bars were definitely better. Okay, so they're running up and over. Interesting. That's interesting. I guess because they're stacking up so much. It's got to be because they're stacking up. I don't know, maybe we'll go to day 77. Maybe we'll go to day 77. Let's just repair this now. While we're doing that, let's step back here. Yeah, they gotta be... They gotta be hopping over. 
Um. You hold on to that. Let's get this second one going. Oops, that's the, uh... Oh, screw off, you! Oh, you know what? They must have broke my, uh, the wires. That's interesting. They did it last time. But then again, it was... Oh, fuck off! Alright, we gotta deal with that somehow. Oh, they're through the uh, first level of uh, steel in the front there. This is going to be this is going to be an interesting night. So once again, I spoke too soon. All right, let's get this fixed up. There we go. It's interesting that they're um, not spending time down below like they did before. Okay, we're about a third of the way through the night. I'm about a third of the way through the ammo. So we're all right. He says with a hesitant voice. You blow up. Yeah, so I mean, I guess the wire, I gotta get it a bit more protected, I think. Ow. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more kills than 500 tonight. I see like legs and body art pieces flying everywhere. He's gonna blow up. Go ahead and use one of these guys. Is that bird actually hitting me through the wall? I don't know how you could though. There's like plates and everything there. God, I apologize if anybody has epilepsy. I don't even know if my turret's still working or not. My junk turret, that is. You know... 
you don't even need to be a good aim with this thing. You just gotta point it. Oh, <laughs> I took that guy, both of that guy's legs off. Yeah, our back turret's out of ammo. Oh, we're infected too. Oh, yeah, the, that sledge turret is working. There's just so many zombies, I can't really do much. Get that cop. Oh, we got to repair this. Alright, let's pull, uh this thing out. Was oh, that missed? Ooh, they broke the block back there too. Was that? What was that? There we go. That could be me too. I'm hitting that block an awful lot with this thing. That's a demo, isn't it? No, it's just a biker. Demos came early tonight. I am fighting to keep this thing level. One thing I will say. Gotta slowly keep pushing that mouse forward. Alright, let's uh, open up some of these guys now. Whoa, what the fuck? That's weird. That should not happen. You know, the, the uh, demo zombies are bad, but I think tonight it's the cops and the spider monkeys that are uh, the worst. Well, we can't really go back to melee at this point without the wire. The wire fencing. Yeah, we've got a lot more. Uh... Oop, missed. I gotta learn to point down. Ah, we got him under control, I think. Kind of. Maybe. Where does that bounce to? Ah, interesting. Ow! See what I mean? Got him, didn't we? I think so. Nope, he blew up. Well, somebody did. He's gonna blow up too. Nice. He's definitely helping you kill the zombies, that's for sure. This block underneath me here is uh, starting to take a lot of damage. 
right here. Yeah, not bad. They broke the plate out, though. What are we at? 310? Oh, yeah, we got this horde. Ah, a little past them. It's unfortunate we couldn't use the rocket launcher more, but we really got to control this door. Well, they took it in the face. All right, we're good here. What is that sound? All right, you guys, bring it around the front again. Sorry, I had to get a few rocket shots off just to feel justified. Is that it? Did we kill the horde before the end of the night? No, I hear a lot more. I think we just blew up that wave. I don't know, maybe we did. I think we killed the Horde. I think we killed the Horde. Before the end of the night. Oh my god. 1500 rounds left. Oh shit, why is my... My jeep flipped over. Did the, the the horde flip my jeep over? <laughs> because they were a bit pissed at me. Oh man. So what do we got here? That's from yeah. I think when the demo went off, it killed all of my wire. It's gotta be a way to hide that behind steel. Gotta get some plates in there, I think. They broke the the metal plate up there. Okay. And we lost two on this side. Okay, well, we know what to, we got to do. I may do another one. I don't know. I think that was fun. Now that I know what the air... Well, you know, here's the thing. Is technically you don't even need to, like, have the wire on there. I could set it up differently so it's not there. So if the demos do go off, or the cops do go off, it won't damage it. So we could set it up, like, wow, they, blew, they took that out too. We could set it out, up, like, at the doorway there, or along here, or wherever, you know? Alright, I'm just going to see what we get out of this, and then, oops, let's use this before I forget, and use this. Alright, now we're going to have a look and see what we get here. Oh, level 6 Devil... Ah, uh, man. Level 6 Desert Vulture. Alright, let's see what else we get. Thank you. 
All right, so not bad. We got a level six sniper rifle, which I actually currently have a level three, so the six is nice. Uh, level six impact driver, which I have a level four, so now I got a six. Um, and yeah, I mean, not a level six, a desert vulture, which I'll probably be running around with now with the shotgun if I continue playing. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to try for day, day 77. I know how it would, I already know how it would change this base to make it better. I mean, we barely took any damage at all. Did I bring a, uh, I thought I brought a, um, antibiotic with me, but I guess I didn't. I got plenty back at the house. It's not a big deal. I didn't even go through any food or drink other than some coffee, one thing of coffee tonight. So damage wise, they didn't even get through here this time. They were so busy. I guess with those bars gone, they saw it as an easier attempt to get through the top here. So, like they did no damage down here this time. Last time they broke through a couple of these blocks, but not this time. And of course this took a b bunch of damage from the, from the uh, demos. Both of them went off up here. Maybe one, I don't know. Maybe one of them went off halfway down or something. Yeah, I mean, 1,500. That's the plate, though. The block underneath has got 33, and this plate is still full, almost full. So he must have fallen off and did damage right in here. And then up at the top. So, oh, another bag. Two vitamins. Nothing up here? Nope. Okay, so the plate here is gone. We don't have our concrete, but uh, they took this down to uh, concrete. This was almost destroyed, but we fixed it. This was down to concrete, and we fixed it. And then the one that we're standing on was down to concrete, but we fixed it. And that's with two demos going off. So, I mean, not bad. And this is insane difficulty, too. So, I'm interested actually to see here. So, this block under here... Yeah, it's steel, but it was almost completely destroyed. So my guess is it took damage last time as well. And the one in here? Yeah, I mean, it took damage too. So I guess it does blow up between the gaps then. Any damage will go between the gaps. So that's something to be aware of if you're making a base. Um, any gaps like this will da have damage will travel between them and hit the block underneath this one. So that's a uh, good thing to note when you're making a base. Um, but overall, like it's just steel damage. Like this is the plate. That's the upper box. So I mean, yeah, a bit of damage. Now I can't see this upper block from inside. So if it went down, I would never know. So that's something I gotta think about too. Maybe I take this plate out and put a bar across here. We lose the plate, put a bar. That'll make things easier to see. And I had um, these bars here. This will be a plate now. But I think we need to extend. Like the spiders, I think we're climbing on people and then jumping and landing on the roof over there. So I think there's got to be a way we can set this up so they can't get on the roof. Maybe, I think it just might be just extending these bars up a little more. I think that's all we need to do. But as far as the steel goes... I mean, steel's kind of expensive, but I could just set up more forges to just constantly be making steel. I still got, like, several stacks of iron back at the house. So it's not like, you know, steel's easy to make at this point. Earlier in the game, it's a little difficult to keep up with the production, but later in the game, it's so easy to... You spend a day mining with rock busters, and you get so much iron. All right, no damage under here. No, nothing over here, really. Nope. All right. So that's not bad. I mean, this base has done me well since the beginning of the game. So, and I'm sure it, can, it will work continuing forward. Just have to figure out where to put stuff. And I think if we move this back a bit, like move these guys back, like maybe to here, these four back to here, and move these guys out back a couple as well, I think the wire will stretch across. I'll have to run a test to see how far a wire will, will run. But if we move them back... I could add like a plate in front of them that would stop them from taking damage from anything exploding up there and run the wire across and then like I said we could even set it up so that the wire 
you know, maybe runs across some of these openings here, across here, maybe down in here or something like that. We can set up a, a thing here and have it run across to like the base over here. I don't know. There's a way to do it, but I don't know how much time I want to spend on it. Even we could set one up that starts here and runs across so that when the zombies come up to the top here, they get stunned right here, you know? And then I can fire rockets into them here. Because rockets are so cheap to make too, right? And with Atom Junkies, they just do so much damage to the Horde. Ooh, this one was almost destroyed. You can do so much damage to the Horde with rockets, it's, it's just ridiculous. So, you know, you could turn it into a rocket base too. Just stand up here and shoot down on them. But for now, I think this will be the end of this series. I might continue on with it. I don't know if I do. You know, you look for episode 11. But if not, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, go check out my um, Blasted Oasis series um, for 7 Days to Die. And if you're into uh, Battletech, go check out my Rogue Tech series. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.